टू मेक मनी इन इक्विटी मार्केट टू फंडामेंटल्स बाय लो सेल हाई सेकेंड वन बींग बाय बिफोर मोस्ट पीपल डू एंड सेल बिफोर दैम सो वन ऑफ द मेजर इंडस्ट्रीज ऑफ श्रीलंका इज टी द फर्स्ट वन हैपन्स टिपिकली अराउंड मे एंड जून दैट इज वेयर द लॉन्ग टी is harvested that that's the higher quality why would you even run a business where interest of that uh, at the assets you have would probably be lot more than the net profit so this time i'm talking about the sri lanka crisis where their crops in most categories failed completely ruined so one of the major industries of sri lanka is tea so when i saw the news i said okay let's try and invest into indian tea industry the largest obviously tata t so but i chose a small cap the reason i chose that stock was it had recently purchased several new plantations i thought that it would added capacity and increase global demand because there was no supply coming from sri lanka hopefully this company will do lot better than others to back my investment decision i studied the complete tea life cycle and let me just share a little bit of insight with you because most of you would be tea drinkers it may be beneficial to you there are two passes uh, of a harvest for tea in a year the first one happens typically around may and june that is where the long tea is harvested that, that's the higher quality tea which sells for lot higher price than the second lot the second lot is after 3 or 4 months somewhere around july august september that is the small grain which typically sold loose or are used by tea stalls and so on typically tea will be harvested it will be cleaned it will be packaged it will be sent to stores or sold on amazon typically i expected one or two quarters before it is harvested before it is sold if the most costly part is uh, being harvested around may june then probably somewhere around q3 is when the result should be good let's look at the quarterly results numbers you don't need to be an expert at reading uh, balance sheets don't worry too much about it sales numbers were okay if you see there's a blip in march 2022 also can attribute this to the pandemic so the overall numbers look really bad they improved a bit in june that is where probably the new uh, lot came in that's what i thought and then september results looked fine 17 rupees eps i thought that the stock is back and i invested a bit of money december was low but it's okay i thought that maybe the this year's produce has already been sold so 9 crore is okay if you look here it was 1 crore as well so everything seemed okay i kept on holding march minus 40 crores i read that they have done some rebalancing on uh, the valuations of some of the holdings they have the the tea estates i said okay fine but then in june again uh, negative eps september again negative eps so i somehow could not find sri lanka anywhere in this i could not see the company benefiting at all from the crisis even if you look at the annual numbers the p the profit and loss numbers the sales have been consistent uh, expenses were okay uh, but again suddenly the profit numbers dipped in 2022 2023 is there something wrong uh, which is happening uh, is it just circumstantial but again at the peak of the best opportunity probably for a small sized company which has just acquired few t states i thought that there is something wrong which is happening if you see the balance sheet again equity capital is very low 7 crores uh, it increased to 11 crores uh, in 2022 reserves huge numbers 7000 700 crores 800 crores kind of reserves i don't wonder why they even are listed they should just delist uh, borrowings are under control liabilities are under control so effectively if you see they if they just sell off the reserves like which is the fixed assets t estate probably most of it uh work in progress is fine investment 54 crores if they just sell it off put it on interest they will probably earn about 80 crores an year net profit is minus 9 crore minus 42 crore 9 crore 18 crore so why would you even run a business where interest of that uh, at the assets you have would probably be lot more than the net profit let's look at the shareholding patterns the promoter shareholding has not changed ever they continue to hold so they probably don't intend to sell off the business there is no fii the dii there someone stuck here since the beginning or they are holding for some reason public obviously cannot sell to anyone they cannot buy from anyone the holding is more or less static the final observation which made me sell this stock was the expense part so if you see march 2015 the employee expenses were around 22% material cost was 13% manufacturing cost was 33% percent. 
similar numbers throughout now if you suddenly go to the march 2022 2023 numbers the employee cost has ballooned to 51% and uh, the material cost has gone down to 6% how come the raw material which is tea leaves cost just 6% of the entire cycle manufacturing cost is more or less same for a company which is posting losses why would you improve increase your employee cost why would you pay more most people tend to reduce on employee cost and employees in a tea estate business would typically be the people who pick leaves the people who process the leaves they are low wage earners most of them remaining white collar jobs would be very minimal so what is happening here out of the entire expense of 347 crores 170 crore is just being spent on employees again other cost exceptionally high 19% there is no bifurcation no detail of other cost but again what is the auditor doing here this brings down the operating profit and the net profit down significantly had this employee cost been in control this would have been probably a profitable uh, year so my learnings from this particular investment the first and foremost being if your stock is low or zero on fii dia participation then it may not be a red sign the stock may be okay it's not necessarily a bad stock but the liquidity most likely will be low you will not be able to buy or sell when you want to you might not get basically people who are trying to sell or buy when you are trying to do the reverse action also there may not be a very high pe for this stock because the participation is low there is not too much demand from bigger institutions which means no one is willing to buy in high quantities note here i am not saying that this particular stock or any stock where fii dii holding is low is bad and that we should not invest in if you know the industry if you know the company i'm not talking about insider trading then yes you could invest but i would not say invest large quantities or don't park too much money into that stock uh, it may be a trade you are just trying to make some little money but don't put significant chunk of your portfolio there the second one is that if there is any alarming increase in any specific cost category that cannot be justified like in this example it was the employee cost so if that industry or if that business cannot be justified for that much higher expense or increase in the expense maybe a blip here or there then that's a red sign maybe it is a sign of someone parking the cost and increasing the cost to reduce the profit uh, which may not be good for the shareholders next one being very high other cost in terms of percentages if other cost cannot be explained in the appendix in special line items uh, typically most companies give details of these expenses but if you see 20% 30% as other expenses then the auditor probably is not doing a good job in asking for explanations red sign should avoid those stocks one sign i have started looking for is a companies that is posting profit or reasonably reason, uh, good numbers in the q1 q2 q3 zone and suddenly you feel that the annualized eps will look great suddenly in q4 they prof post a loss uh, maybe just reprice their assets or do something which seems like one time blip and you may want to wait another year but remember a big blip like for example if the eps is running at say 10 rupees in the first three quarters and there is minus 40 eps in the fourth quarter minus 30 eps it will take an entire year for the annualized eps to turn positive and look green again on the balance sheet your wait time will be very high and slowly people will keep seeing negative eps and start exiting the liquidity of that stock will increase decrease and you will not even find enough people to sell your stock maybe if you want to ex uh, exit out especially if it's a pattern for the second year it's a red sign exit if you are in losses sell like i did rescue your money whatever is left invest it somewhere else where you will probably make more money with the same money one general learning not just specific to this stock but commodities which can be exported is that there are times when there are external opportunities there is a global crisis the world needs those commodities which we can produce and we feel that india will make a lot of money need not happen like that uh, what happens is there are times when the global demand increases artificially and our producers like say sugar uh, manufacturers steel manufacturers tea manufacturers they could make money 
But if they were to export a significant chunk out of the country at a dollar value to outside world and make money, then the, there'll be a shortage in the country, there'll be crisis in the country and the prices inside will go up and you have seen the inflation in the last few years. So government does the right thing these days by putting some controls, checks and balances on the exports. Now this may not be capitalist thought but yes we are a poor country we can't afford prices to go out of bound for essential commodities which are necessary to run the country to build the country. So just understand this part while taking your decision is the commodity you are talking about or investing in is in the category where if there is artificial demand outside where you want to kind of make money or you think your company will make money will the government step in and do the right thing for the country but not for the shareholders of that company the final one being a careful look at the business model itself i'll give you an example if you have 1 lakh rupees the bank will give you 7 8% interest the bond market will give you about 9 or 9 or 10% interest a reasonable equity will give you about 10 to 12% uh, in a decent year without taking too much risk so why would you run a business that will give you a lot lesser return or a negative return uh, maybe a percentage or two percentage uh, kind of return on your total uh, uh, base is that even a sustainable business why would you even run that business over 10 years 12 years yes i understand there are capex cycles i understand that your business will look great after 10 years 20 years there has to be a trend in increase in sales there has to be uh, a capital work in progress which is sizable there has to be some sort of uh, light at the end of the tunnel maybe if after five years after 10 years somewhere you have to see the money otherwise why would you run that business costly mistake i learned a lot from it it's not that i'm not gonna invest in small caps from now on but the points i explained in this video they will be the least of the points i'll do my due diligence upon and the small caps will never have a very high percentage per stock in my portfolio ever everyone on the internet today talks about when they made money what the good they did their advices that will help you make money but no one talks about the mistakes and believe me there is no one today who does not make mistake or does not make losses it's just that people don't admit them and that is where your learning is incomplete you typically just hear the success stories not the areas where people suffered losses why they suffered losses what they were what were their learnings and what you should avoid doing it's up to you you can learn the hard way just like i did or you could uh, listen to people like me who are willing to share their experiences their bad choices their learnings and avoid those or at least be aware of those kinks or those problems when you are in that situation.